After lots of development and changes, Dwayne Johnson finally appeared as Teth Adam in the DC Extended Universe film, Black Adam. Now, with a sequel in the works, things are about to get really interesting. The ending of Black Adam left some loose ends and teased a big character return, so a sequel seems pretty likely, especially after the film's recent success on streaming. There's been a lot of buzz around Black Adam, with Johnson promoting it as a game-changer for the DC movie franchise. The film dropped during a chaotic period for DC, right after Discovery bought Warner Brothers, leading to some internal shakeups and the end of the DCEU timeline, plus the unexpected cancellation of Batgirl. While Black Adam was meant to be a major turning point for the franchise, a sequel could really shake things up and redefine what we know about DC movies. Recently, The Rock mentioned that DC and Seven Bucks are working on finding the best ways to use Black Adam in future DC Multiverse chapters. This pretty much confirms that Black Adam 2 is likely in the works and that Dwayne Johnson will definitely be reprising his role in other DC projects too. The Rock's growing focus on WWE in 2024 might hint that he's prioritizing wrestling for now. He made a big return to the ring starting in February 2024, building up to his match at WrestleMania 40, where he teamed up with Roman Reigns against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. The build-up to this match was one of the most anticipated storylines in WWE, and the WrestleMania event itself was widely praised as one of the best ever. WrestleMania 40 also saw a huge financial success, reportedly breaking WWE's all-time gate record in just one day, according to the company. The previous record was $21.6 million, so this is a significant win, especially since this doesn't even include pay-per-view sales, which were likely substantial. A big part of this success is probably due to fans eager to see The Rock back in the ring. While Dwayne Johnson could technically step away from wrestling if he wanted to, the strong positive response to his return makes it likely he'll continue to build on this momentum. He even hinted at this in a social media video on April 15, 2024, saying he's excited about breaking records and setting his sights on the next WrestleMania, though he added that this is a conversation for later. Balancing future wrestling matches and WWE appearances with his movie roles, including a potential return as a superhero, might be challenging, even for someone as accomplished as The Rock. But this makes him even. It wouldn't be surprising if the situation with Black Adam and DC's movie reboot led to him reprising the role as the iconic anti-hero. On the bright side, James Gunn responded to Johnson's tweet with, Love The Rock and I'm always excited to see what he and Seven Bucks do next. Can't wait to collaborate soon. This suggests that Gunn isn't entirely done with Black Adam yet. Since the film's post credit scene features Black Adam meeting Amanda Waller, there's a chance Johnson might reprise his role in Waller's series or in Peacemaker Season 2. In the meantime, instead of focusing solely on Black Adam 2, the DCU could explore other popular characters from the film, like the Justice Society heroes Hawkman, Doctor Fate, Atom Smasher, and Cyclone. Black Adam had a solid box office performance, bringing in $393 million, and its success continued with streaming. Once it hit Netflix, it quickly climbed the global top 10 charts, racking up 2.7 million views in just one week. While streaming numbers aren't as significant as box office figures, or critical acclaim, since some viewers might have tuned in out of curiosity about the movie's mixed reviews, it does suggest that the film's reputation might have improved over time. Notably, while the critic score for Black Adam on Rotten Tomatoes is on the lower side, the audience score has climbed to 88% as of 2024, which in my eyes matters far more than any critical score. This is a much more positive outcome and likely reflects the broader audience that had access to the film through streaming, with some viewers becoming unexpected fans. The improved reception, combined with the high streaming view count, makes it more likely that Black Adam 2, or a DCU reboot of Black Adam as a spiritual sequel, could become a reality. If Black Adam 2 happens, we will most likely see the most of the cast. Starting with Dwayne Johnson, who plays the lead role of a 5,000-year-old guy from Kandak with godlike powers. After being locked up for centuries, he's back in the modern world, looking to dish out some serious justice. Black Adam's character is pretty intense, 
he's all about a harsh form of justice and isn't afraid to take out his enemies. We'll probably also see the Justice Society of America, starting with Hawkman, played by Aldous Hodge. As the leader of the team, Hawkman is a winged hero who uses a powerful mace. His job is to try to convince Black Adam to dial back on his violent ways. Another is Adam Smasher, played by Noah Centineo. He is a young hero from the Justice Society who can grow to a huge size. He joins forces with Black Adam to take down Sabak. Cyclone, played by Quintessa Swindell, is a Justice Society member who can control wind and energy. She joins the fight against Sabak. In addition, Amanda Waller, portrayed by Viola Davis, makes an appearance in the post credit scene of Black Adam. There's a chance she could recruit Black Adam for future missions in sequels or other DC projects. Meanwhile, Adriana Tomas, played by Sarah Shahi, is an archaeologist and freedom fighter for Kondok who helps free Black Adam from his tomb. Her brother Kareem, portrayed by Mohammed Amr, also has a supporting role. Now let me talk about the story a bit more. What the Black Adam 2 story could have been remains a mystery. In the first movie we see, in 2600 BC, a tyrannical king, Akhton of Kondok, enslaves his people to mine Eternium and forges the crown of Sabak for invincibility. After a failed revolt, a young slave boy becomes a superhero, kills Akhton, and ends his reign. In the present, Kondok is under Intergang's control. Archaeologist Adriana Tomas and her team seek the crown of Sabak. Adriana accidentally awakens Teth Adam, a superhuman warrior. The US government views Adam as a threat, prompting the Justice Society to intervene. They discover Adam's violent past and attempt to stop his killing spree. Ishmael, the leader of Intergang and descendant of Octon, kidnaps Adriana's son, Amon. The Justice Society retrieves the crown, but Adam loses control, killing Ishmael and wounding Amon. Adam reveals to Hawkman that his powers were meant to save his son Hurut, not himself. Adam surrenders, and the Justice Society takes him to a hidden facility. When Ishmael becomes Sabak and unleashes demons, the Justice Society struggles. What are your thoughts on where Black Adam might appear next? Do you think he'll show up in Waller or Peacemaker Season 2? Or do you have another prediction in mind? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.